Jones winning now for Adam Archuleta. Spiro Dini saying so long from Cleveland. Now the NFL Today update delivered by Pizza Hut. All right, thank you very much, Spiro. We're going to take you out now to Indianapolis, where the New York Giants are holding on to a six-point lead over the Indianapolis Colts with 3.43 left in the fourth quarter as Andrew Luck breaks center and is ready to take him down the field. Let's go out to Kevin Harlan, Rich Cannon, and Steve Casper. This season, three timeouts, first and ten. Knocked down. The field and with this loss, Miami is eliminated from playoff contention. A disappointing result for the Dolphins as they go to seven and eight, and you can take them off the list of in the hunt. It's Indianapolis fighting for their lives against the Giants with an eight and six record. Final score: Jacksonville 17, Miami 7. For James Lofton, this is Andrew Catalan saying so long from Miami Gardens. Don't forget our doubleheader day will continue with the Steelers and the Saints. Let's go to James Brown in New York for the NFL Today update. It's delivered by Pizza Hut. So the final score there, it's Jacksonville not folding at all, winning it by 10 over the Miami Dolphins there. And you heard a conversation about whether or not next year will be there for him. Meanwhile, New York and the Indianapolis Colts. Mm. Colts need to win out and get some help in order to move into the postseason. But Bill, I heard you talking about the way the Giants have been playing hard. The Giants have played hard. Eli Manning's had a big day through the air. Saquon Barkley, but you know, Andrew Luck right now, guys, this is what we've seen him in the yep. past. Finish these drives. He's got a chance to do the same thing. 44 attempts, though. There's too many passes thrown. I want him to narrow those down, but he can't help that now. Two-minute drill. Let's see well, if he they've been playing catch-up here this whole second half. That's why he's got so many pass uh, attempts. It's Andrew Luck, four downs to get it. You give him four downs, he should be able to use it. He should be able to get them in the end zone. All right, we're going to take you out there to that game. New York Giants at the Indianapolis Colts. Our announcers out there, Kevin Harlan, Rich Gannon, and Steve Tasker. Two minutes left in regulation. Giants up by six. Let's join Kevin Harlan. So the Indianapolis Colts alive in the AFC playoff picture have just seen Jacksonville defeat Miami. Dolphins Colts have won three in a row. They have won eight of nine. And they go to nine and six. And to update the AFC playoff picture, they and Tennessee with their win over the Redskins. The Titans last night go to nine and six. Baltimore with their win in LA over the Chargers at nine and six. What a final weekend we've got coming up in the NFL. Coming up, game two of our NFL doubleheader, Steelers and Saints. But right now, let's take you to James Brown in New York. All right, Kevin, for the NFL Today update, we're going to take you out to the contest. Houston at Philadelphia. Philly looking to win out and make it to the postseason. 204 left in regulation. Let's join Ian Eagle, Dan Fouts, and Evan Washburn. And our final score, the New England Patriots, 24, Buffalo, 12. Up next, NFL Today update delivered by Pizza Hut for Trent, Bruce, and Melanie, and all of us. Greg Gumbel, Merry Christmas, everyone. JB, to you in New York. All right, Greg, so New England has now won its 10th straight NFC, make that AFC East title with that victory over Buffalo. We take you now, Houston at Philadelphia, all tied at 29, 204 left in regulation. Ian Eagle, Dan Fouts, and Evan Washburn. Ruling on the field was a touchdown for the Texans as we hit two minutes to play. A.J. Moore getting down the field on special teams. Two-minute warning. Philadelphia needs a field goal to win and keep their playoff hopes alive. Back here in the studio with the NFL today. Update. Again, you see the game there. A lot on the line. The Texans, if they win, they clinch the AFC South. Eagles still with a shot at the postseason. If they went out and get some help, they will be into the postseason mix. Boomer, this has been your game. Deshaun Watson has oh. played well. Uh, we were sitting here and we just he's just taking our breath away. The, the last couple of series, some of the throws that he has made and some of the plays that he has gotten away from in terms of the sacks around him have been amazing. And when you take a look at the, the playoff picture, especially in the AFC, I know we're showing the NFC right now, but I just want to talk about the AFC for one second. Yeah. This game carries with it a lot of weight because the New England Patriots have just beaten the Buffalo Bills. If 
Houston wins this game, they will stay in the number two spot. If they lose this game, they'll flip with the New England mm. Patriots. So this final two-minute drive for Nick Foles is huge. And remember, Dallas also won today, so therefore they have clinched the NFC. So the only way Philadelphia could get into the playoffs is if they get in via the wild card route, which means they have to win this football mm. game. And back to that last drive, I have to give you credit because you said that Deshaun Watson is going to do something special. And he has that one play where he spun around twice and his back was facing the defense, playing big in big moments, Phil. Yeah, he does. Here, here's the play we're talking about. One, another spin, break another tackle, third one there. then gets himself in position to make the throw. Oh, Listen, come on. he is a star, and this is a star-heavy team. It's about pass rushers. It's about him making plays taking care of an offensive line that's not that good, and a secondary that gives up a lot of plays. And now the onus goes back onto that Houston defense. Can they stop Nick Foles, which he may not have been able to do all day? Right. right now, it's at front four. Can they dial up some pressure? Because right now, Nick Foles is having his way with that secondary. One sack so far of Nick Every Foles part. today in all those All throws. he has to do is get him into field goal range. A terrible kickoff return for the Philadelphia Eagles. So they start right. off with terrible field position here on this final and drive. And keep your eyes on J.J. Watt. They like to move him around in situations like this. You might see him on the interior matching up with those guards. So my guys have set the stage for you as we head into the final two minutes of regulation. Houston and Philly, let's go back to Ian Eagle, Dan Fouts, and Evan Washburn. Elliott lines up. Jake Elliott sweeps the leg. He's got it. That's a winner. The Eagles playoff hopes still alive. Jake Elliott sticks it from 35 yards away. Eagles 32, Texans 30, your final in Philly. The playoff picture in the NFC. Eagles still in the hunt. Minnesota at 8-6-1. Seattle 8-6. The Eagles now 8-7. The loss for Houston. And now the Texans are at 10-5. They had a chance to get a first round bye. Texans will be home for Jacksonville. Philadelphia will be in Washington to wrap up the regular season. A thriller in Philly. Stay tuned. The Steelers and the Saints coming up for Dan Faust, Evan Washburn, the rest of our crew. Ian Eagle saying so long from Philadelphia.